Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Noella and Tichidi Chikere at it again. If we could recall, they had made headlines few days ago regarding rumors that their marriage had broken. Today again, actress Noella Ndijibo has now removed her filmmaker husband Tichidi Chikere's name from her Instagram bio. Guys, what do you think this is now saying? Few days ago it was a different story and now she has now come out publicly to make the whole public see that there is something really going on in their marriage and weeks after they jointly debunked his ex-wife Sophia Williams claim of their marriage crashing because if we could recall a few days ago I had even posted that video where his ex-wife that Sophia had come out to start rejoicing that what goes around comes around that the marriage between Tichidi Chikere and Noella had crashed but shortly after she had posted that and even brought proof with Instagram messages Tichidi and his wife Noella came out to debunk it by posing a video of both of them together in the bedroom and all cozy all of that but that didn't go out of the eyes of people a lot of people knew that that could be another way to cover up the shame of the fact that Sophia had proved them wrong and they didn't want to make it clear that yes something was wrong with their marriage they needed a cover up come to think of it would they have accepted that yes their marriage had ended owing to the fact that Sophia was his wife who had kids for him but in the course of his relationship with Nuella him and Sophia's marriage crashed and Sophia's marriage crashed not until he started dating Nuella which means they were still married when he was having an affair with Nuella and after his marriage crashed he now married Nuella and right now that same woman came out in the public to express her own joy and letting the world know that look at what is happening to the woman who has now snatched her own husband and you know such things don't last everybody actually knew that that video was looking fake it didn't look like they were all happy together and speculations of Nuella and Tichidi having a marital crisis came after Sophia's Instagram post which read waiting they happened to one love made in heaven the couple had named their union in quotes love made in heaven after they walked down the aisles in 2014 it was also noticed that they've unfollowed each other on instagram this is telling a whole lot right now you can actually see that that marriage had crashed sophia wasn't wrong the marriage had crashed but they felt so ashamed that they didn't want to admit it owing to the fact that it was said by Sophia and that was why they came out with that fake video of being happy and cozy together right now you can see that um, a capture of Nuella's Instagram page her husband's name is no longer there and if you could recall that Sophia had posted her own Instagram page with the write-up of what she was asking. They claimed that their marriage is made in heaven. So the question was, what has happened to that marriage that was made in heaven? She just said, 
just asking for a friend who is not on Instagram. He choked. This was what she actually penned down. And you could see that there's a screenshot of the pages of both Tichi de Chikere and Nuela de Chibu. However, weeks after they had both debunked the claim, in a video they shared, Nuela also removed Tichidi's surname Chikere from her Instagram bio. So you can now tell that they've been hiding under an umbrella. And after that particular Instagram message that Sophia had written, that the Nollywood producer and director, that's Tichidi Chikere, and his wife, Nuela, now released a video of them in bed so as to dispel the rumors that their marriage had crashed. Meanwhile, Tichidi Chikere's former wife, Sophia, who shares three sons with him, had mocked the couple on Instagram following rumors of the split. Also, it was noticed that Tichidi and Nuela are not following each other on Instagram and thus further fueled the speculation of a rift between the couple. But Tichidi released a video via his Instagram account to show that all was well. Also, in that particular video, Nuela is heard telling him to stop doing a video because it feels like he is proving a point. And Tichidi responds, was this because in that video you could if you had listened carefully you would see that Nuella was not so okay with it she was now trying to tell him that there was no need for this video you don't need to prove any point to anybody but he responded that i'm not proving any point it's crazy he then adds so i must be following you on instagram so can you imagine how can the husband be following his wife on instagram or how come all of a sudden he stopped following his wife on instagram because that was what he was actually saying to her and he now said that is it necessary for him to be following his wife on instagram friends who does that kind of a thing you could see that generally when couples are having issues they tend to go to social media, some couples, especially all of these celebrities. They will first unfollow themselves on Instagram or whatever social media accounts that they share together. They will unfollow and that is where a lot of people get to have a proof that things are not okay between these two people. And he was trying to tell people that indirectly i mustn't follow my wife on instagram then why were you following her before and then you unfollowed her so that's where the question comes into play Tichidi tends to forget that he's out there in the public and a lot of people don't buy into things like this because it was so obvious that this was all fake and noella's instagram bio which read before it was reading mother and wife but she has now changed it to award-winning filmmaker, mom, CEO. That's a screen capture that you can see there. Look at the one on the left-hand side. You will see it's written, Noel and Jibo Chikere, mother and wife, actor, writer, producer. And then take a good look at the one on the right-hand side. That's Noel underscore the Jibo. Nuela Ndijibo, Chikere has been taken away from her name and now what we can see is award-winning filmmaker, mom, CEO. This has said a lot of things. It's so obvious that this marriage has already crashed for the wife to take away the husband's name from her own name says it all. Why should a woman take away her husband's name? from her own name it obviously means that these two people are no longer together they've just been deceiving themselves all these days all this while and there were some claims that it's like tichidi was raising his hands on nuela and another speculations where it seems tichidi has started cheating on nuela she has got to find out about his cheating affair a lot of things are actually coming up and 
the truth is this you hurt your fellow woman who has done nothing wrong to you by pulling her away from her matrimonial home and then you take over what was Noella thinking was she thinking that it will end up there or was she thinking that it's going to be according to them marriage love made in heaven was it going to be bed of roses was it going to be all fun and forever with love happily ever after it doesn't work that way when you hurt your fellow woman who has children and has done nothing wrong to you the worst thing is having an affair with a married man when you know that he is still with his wife you know the case would have been different if they had divorced Sophia and Tichidi had divorced before she and she did started their affair it would have been very okay nobody would raise eyebrow at Noella nobody would raise eyebrow at their marriage but to make matters worse Tichidi and Sophia were still married they were still living together as husband and wife when he started having his affair with Nuella. And Nuella knew that he was married to Sophia because they all act together. They were all actors, so it wasn't a hidden thing. I know the lives of celebrities are out there in the open. It's not a hidden life. And you decided that is this married man you would want to follow. You decided that you would want to destroy this married man's home. Because this is wrecking another woman's home. And then you took over this woman's house. Made her to leave her own home with her children. Not even minding that kids were involved. She was more concerned about her own happiness, her own peace. See how some women can be very, very selfish. And then look at what is happening. And you think that... When this happened, Sophia was happy about it or she gave them their, her blessings. No, no, no. A woman who was in pain with children and then you think that God is asleep. God is not asleep, you know. And come to think of it, Sophia may have been praying to God and asking God to help her intervene into the situation. And there is nothing as good as when a woman or a mother goes on her knees to pray to God over something she has not done wrong over the pain inflicted on her innocently god doesn't close his ears to such kind of prayers look at now the whole marriage is already crashed the marriage has even crashed not already crashing because it's so clear in the air it's not a hidden thing anymore they tried to cover up but unfortunately it didn't work they couldn't hold that cover up for so long just a few days ago, they were covering up and showing all cozy. And now what is happening? You can never take the joy of another woman away from her. And thinking that you are going to have your own life in full with fun and with that man. It's a lesson. And this is a very big disgrace to Nuela herself. You took another woman's husband. And in the end, what happened? The man is still not clinging to you as you expect it should last. For women out there, if you think that you would want to go out with married men, or you feel that's the best man to follow, and you know he's still with his wife, you want to get into the house, just tell yourself that what goes around comes around. God is not asleep. And nemesis always catch up with people. There is no how you would hurt a woman like that and you will go scot-free. The woman may not do anything, but just for the fact she goes on her knees to pray to God, you're already in trouble in that kind of a home. But why do some ladies prefer destroying other people's home to have their own home? When there are other young single guys out there, must you date a married man? Some ladies will boldly tell you that that is whom they prefer. They prefer married men and they will go after them at all costs. Even if it means them wrecking their home for the man to come in. Some go to the extent of telling the man to divorce his wife to take her in. How do some people feel? They don't have consciences anymore. You tend to do this to this woman. 
one thing people tend to forget is this that golden rule in the bible matthew 7 12 do unto others what you want them to do unto you you know that if a fellow woman does this to you you won't be happy then why are you doing this to your own fellow woman noella was having fun dating chidi while he was still married and to her at that time he would spend and lavish on her she would make her feel like the best lady on the surface of the earth and she felt cool about it she forgot the pain that sophia and her children would be going through come to imagine that you are in a home with your own husband and you now realize that your husband is there having an affair worst of all is with your own colleague with someone that you even know that's why it's even very very painful and the person know you and the person know that you guys are married how heartbreaking can that be i'm sure sophia must have gone through a whole lot either depression and all manner of pain because no woman would watch that kind of a thing and be okay with herself but look at how the whole table is turning around now for Nuella. Ladies out there, it should be a lesson to you. For those of you that are just out to destroy a home, never forget that whatever you do unto others in a very wrong way will surely come back to you. You can never go unpunished. You will pay for what you have cost. And now Noella will now be a laughing stock. She will be a very big laughing stock amongst every other person. How has it ended up for you? You took another woman's husband and then you were sitting down comfortably in the home and took over as the big madam of the house. Now, where are you and what are you? Shame and disgrace upon Noella at the moment. It's written all over her face. Because right now, she can't stand boldly to even say anything. She could only express it with all of this on social media. But if she comes out to now complain, who would listen to her? Who would back her up and say, oh, sorry for what has happened? You could go out, see a lot of people's comments. People are really giving her very bad comments because everybody knew how she married Tichidi. And now it's already crashed. And then is she expecting people to start saying, oh, sorry, we wish you well, or trying to see how they will reconcile them together. People will just pull out their hands from issues like this. Except very few maybe that are close to Noella that supported her, that would back her up at this time. But majority will just turn their eyes away from people. Nuella and Chidi at this moment. Look at now. What has she got to say? Nothing. Will she go back to Sophia to apologize? It's already, well, who knows however she intends to go about it right now. Best known to her alone. But what she did to Sophia was one of the worst things you should ever do to your fellow woman. The worst thing can't see a mother, a wife in the home, and then you end. Even if they were having issues, it's not up to her to help them resolve the issue by separating them. Because they may come out with a claim saying that, well, they were having issues at that time, and so she came into the picture. It's none of your business. Even if they were having issues, it's up to them to resolve their issues. You shouldn't be the one to come and resolve the issues for them by making matters worse because what she did what Nuella did was to make matters worse for Chidi and Sophia look at those children she never even thought of that she was thinking of her own self people should please think before they act always think about how the other person feels even the bible says think of others more highly than you think of yourself if Nuella had thought of Sophia, she wouldn't have done this to Sophia. If Nuella had placed herself in Sophia's shoes and asked the question, if I am Sophia and another woman is doing this to me, will I be happy? How am I going to feel? I'm sure if she had sat down and asked herself questions, she wouldn't have gotten married 
to cheat to cheat she wouldn't have even started a relationship with him in the first place knowing that he was married but she pushed all feelings aside she was more concerned about her happiness she was more concerned about being mrs chikere which she achieved and now it has already turned back on her that is it so if you're out there and you're already planning or you're already dating a married man you better take your heels and run away Otherwise, you will be faced with a lot of things you never even bargained for. Some women are very hot to the point that they hurt the other woman that break their own home. Some go to the extent of harming that woman badly. But Sophia decided to leave it in the hands of God and let God take his own course on Noella, which is happening right now. You know that? one you would leave the person and let the person be and keep praying to god that is the worst punishment that the person would receive than when you take the laws into your own hands and so for married women out there whom you know that your husbands are cheating outside there with other women all you need to do is just go on your knees and pray there is nothing that god cannot do and you would see what those women would face will be so terrible that even the public eyes would raise eyebrow and be so shocked. So please, women or mothers or wives that are home and your husbands are having an affair, please don't take the laws into your hands by going to attack that other women. That's where some women make a lot of mistake. They go to attack the other woman physically or do certain things to them and at the end, they may end up getting jailed. So it's better you leave it in the hands of God. Let God fight the battle for you because God just fought battle for Sophia and that is why you can see now what is happening to Nuela. Friends, what do you all think about this? Please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Please, everybody, both the men and the women, do unto others what you would want them to do unto you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time we upload a new video. And do not forget to hit on the like button. Thank you. God bless you all.